Hello everyone, welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We have, since the last episode, done a little tiny little bit more than I recorded. First of all, we've been to sleep. You will see up in our top right hand corner, mostly everything is green and full bars. This is a little bit of a, get a bit of a limp in our right leg. We're all right. Our speed is basically okay. So I think we're going to be all right to run around a little bit. I also have crafted one washboard and one head torch. Uh, the head torch being merely the torch I had strapped to my head. <laughs> if you would care to reset a lady headlamp strapped to my head or helmet and I can turn it on. So now I don't need to... it doesn't take up inventory space, that's literally the only point of doing that. Uh, what do we have? We have not very much space in our inventory and we're using not very much of it anyway. The washboard is entirely there because I forgot to turn off the most annoying um, dirty clothes mod and the dirty clothes mod simply means that you can't there's many reasons why you should not use dirty clothes dirty rags things like that um one of which is a morale thingy i've just opened up the morale here um most of the time we're quite happy right now it says we're happy we've got a smiley face uh, you will lose morale for wearing dirty clothes but also if you get hit through dirty clothes there's a greater chance that you'll get an infection from the clothes that you're wearing, so don't do it, friend. This zombie cop has not seen us, I'm going to ignore it. We need to get better. What? Watching? <laughs> it's really weird because I think you're staring at me out the corner of my eye. You're staring at your screen. Staring at my screen. Uh, we need to be careful, but what we're really going to need very soon is tools. Something with which we can take apart, for example, everything in this house to turn it into firewood, for example. We've seen. Zombie child, what did you say? You've got one. You. You're a tool. Um, in fact, my character is less than average intelligence, so could be considered a tool. And quite low perception as well, so most of the things that we haven't seen, not my fault. Uh, let's move... There's a problem here, by the way. The tainted meat will eventually become rotten meat. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat. And the rotten meat will eventually start spawning... Uh, like really scary zombie like, mutated cockroaches type things which is not something we want uh, the zombie copper seen us which is bad news bears so let's just uh, run away real quickly basically we want to get this uh, rotten meat somewhere else I'm going to ignore everything I mean the zombie child is over there right, it's just now what over there okay we kind of want to just move away I'm 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 not happy with already being out of breath. We're, I don't know if we can increase our stamina. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me, uh, or maybe just don't bother. But let's stop running for now so that we can get our stamina back up. Also, I think I mean we have like one one slash of stamina. You know that's we're not very low on stamina. You don't need to start heart beating at me. I'm going to double check. Uh, this is pulped, right? So we've run around when we killed things in the previous episode. We made sure to smash them, butcher them, something like that. Simply so they don't get back up again. So we're going to follow uh, the standard rules of engagement, which is to trap a zombie on something difficult like a, a hedge. I'm just going to turn safe mode off for now, because if everything's going to be bugging me like this, it's not going to, I'm not going to be a happy boy. Um, basically, you get the zombie on your side of a hedge like this. When it steps into the hedge, you can smack it a couple of times before it has the opportunity to walk again because that hedge is slow to move past. You can of course run every now and then to try and get a little bit of uh, head start. Sometimes the zombies, as you see they are trying to do now, will break the bush. Also bad news bears. So we're just trying to make sure that we have ample opportunity to get a stab in and then we run away. Get a stab in and run away. You've all seen The Walking Dead. You get a stab in and then we run away. These two are far too close to each other. What we really, really want to do is find a weapon that we can use at range. And they do exist. Um, but we couldn't make one in the last episode. That would be the knife spear that I was referring to. Let's get out of here. I don't want this zombie child to grab me. Even though it's a child, I could probably throw it. <laughs> can you? That would be great. The zombie child is just giving you jit, as children do. Um, you just sort of, you know, throw it. <laughs> Another zombie. A military recruit should be able to throw a child at a, a zombie, right? 
So in this case, I'm actually going to properly butcher this. Um, it does say, what's field dress corpse? Technique that involves removing internal organs of viscera to protect the corpse from rotting from inside. Yields internal organs. Is that going to help? By quartering a previously field dress corpse, you will acquire four parts with reduced rate and volume. It may help in report transporting large game. This action destroys skin, hide, pelt, etc. So don't use it if you want to help. Dissect it. You will examine it for possible bionic implants and harvest them if possible. It requires scalpel grade cutting tools, ruins corpse, and consumes a lot of time. Excuse me, I found myself very thirsty. <coughs> Probably comes across in my voice, which is very gruff right now. Oh, we're going, we're going back to this. <clears throat> no, we're not down there yet. Uh, quick butchery. <coughs> Still want to harvest something from the corpse. Useful if you don't want to set up a workshop. Present, prevents zombies from raising. This technique is used to properly butcher a corpse and requires a rope and a tree or a butchering rack, a flat surface, and good tools. So we basically, we can only quick butcher this thing, um, which is fine, because I don't care. Might take this bandage. Certainly take the bandage. I might take the expandable baton. Probably not going to use it, but it may be a crafting ingredient in something. This does take some stamina, by the way. Uh, so we will, after this, do... I don't want to start running. I want to use pipe to wait for 300 very loud heartbeats. Goodness me. A Swiss army knife. That might be coming handy for more fine work when it comes to uh, butchering things. Uh, a charcoal on a charcoal smoker, that's very handy. What we can do is we can get rid of this knife, put it in a sheath, and carry the charcoal smoker into the house. I'm not convinced that this house is where we want to spend much more of our time. So I'm hesitant to, um, to actually set up a base here. I will put this charcoal smoker here. What do you do? I think what you do is you use the ampersand menu and you look for charcoal, charcoal, char, and you can use a filled charcoal kiln. Well, what do I have? Then? Charcoal smoker. I see. So you, yeah, this is for meat. It does say so. Maybe I should have read that. Makes sense. So that means I can probably reload. Uh, Reload the charcoal smoker. Yeah, so you would reload the charcoal smoker with a charcoal. Let's just do it. Charcoal smoker with charcoal, presumably. Uh, it has 50 in it, and then you can probably now smoke meat. Smoke. I can't, probably because I don't know how, but at least it's there. I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Should we do something about it? What is there? Lots of rotten stuff that we should really, really get rid of. Fresh cold mango. Hungry and thirsty. Let's have a look at our morale again. We need to keep on top of this because it's quite important. We're very wet in the bad way. Um, keep whacking the table, but the microphone's attached to the other table. So if you're picking up... Hang on, let me be quiet for a second. Okay, because Jen's typing on the table to which my microphone is attached. But luckily, thanks to springs and other uh, no, high-tech gadgetry, it's not... And because you're not using my magic microphone. The magic mic... Yeah, the one that picks up everything yeah. in the world. And pick up people whispering on Pluto. A um, couple of things that are wrong here. First of all, we're soaked because it's raining. It started raining whilst we were fighting zombies. Um, we don't like that. This is fairly easy to get around. Just get an umbrella or something. But if you're fighting zombies, you don't want to dance around with your umbrella. This is not the sound of music. Also, wait, that was... There wasn't much rain in the sound of music, I think. We would have been singing in a rain that had... You know, sing people dancing with umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sound of music was all tra la la on top of hills, right? Not all the hills are alive with the sound of you. That one. Set in like pre war, post war, mid war? That was um, that one. Mid war. Anyway. <clears throat> we also did not like the fact we had to kill that zombie child. Every time we kill a zombie child, we're going to be a bit, you know, cut up about it. <laughs> Get it? Because I butchered it. So, we're going to. If we end up near a school or something, that's going to be a bad time as well because we're going to be really sad. However, we can usually get over that, and this is a little secret. You just eat the sweets that the children drop, it's fine. So, we have, like the mango, we do need to eat more though. We're still hungry and a bit thirsty. We might as well get back to, uh, to nothing on this. Um, like, not hungry or thirsty. Which means we might as well drink milk several times. The other thing is, if we keep drinking this milk, we'll end up with a gallon jug. 
of nothing, which we can then put water in, which is super grand. Uh, we are hungry but not thirsty. The pickled fish is really good, um, really good nutrition here, but it makes us thirsty because it's pickled. That's fine. Uh, but tortilla chips are worse for that. Don't think it matters too much. We'll just eat that, and we're happy again. And we are not hungry or thirsty. So what we need to do, really, well, we should probably tidy this place up a little bit. It's a bit of a mess. Do we have a bin? Is this a bin? No, it's a coat rack. Give me a bin. Is there a bin indoors? Yeah, there's one. This is a bin, right? Survivor's note. Did you read that? School bus with solar panels. Yes, I remember. And we unlocked the... Uh, we unloaded the talking doll. Here's a trash can. So let's... um, just Oh, stop walking in funny directions. <laughs> Get away. Okay, I'm pressing all the wrong keys in all the wrong places. I'm actually going to drop the cans in the bin. These aluminium cans can be actually quite useful. Nevertheless, this place is a tip, and I'm not not slovenly. So I'm going to start putting, for example, I will put the the, the the Glamopolitan magazine on the TV table. Fair enough. Let's have a look. Do you know what? There's a bookshelf. Maybe we should put the magazine in the bookshelf. Stop leaving your magazines all over the bloody front room and start putting them away. We have a bookshelf for a reason, but dress shoes, put them on the coat rack. Not on the coat rack necessarily. Put them under the coat rack like a present under a Christmas tree. That would be fine too. The reason we want to be able to make tools, apart from the fact that if we pull these apart, we can um, we, uh, get more salvageable wood. We want to be able to use that wood to board up these windows that are so broken. Um, so let's drop, let's grab this vehicle and then drop with our slash key and then this will be our dragged vehicle and then this will be our everywhere and then we can start running around we can just put everything in this vehicle right so we press comma and everything goes in perfect press comma now we don't want to pick up this park charcoal smoker parkour this parkour choker we just want to gather everything that we can put it into this cart slash comma good slash salt water dirt oh yeah i emptied a thing of water because we needed it um, and we're just gonna, you know, I might just dump it over here behind this. I think this was the grocery store, so that's just tough zombie. Can't see me, so let's um, get rid of this. Oh, nope. This and this. See, I could cut up these things and make filthy rags. I've made a washboard, but there's gonna be so much dirty clothing. These are really low quality, so the chances of getting any rags at all. Not much. And also, we'll get dirty rags, and I don't want to wash them. I don't even know if I can. I might need soap. Not sure. Um, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, hello? Where did you come from? I'm sad. <laughs> Where the heck did you come from? All right, let's run away. Use the uh, aforementioned trick. Finding a bush. Here's a bush. Wait for the zombie. Nothing else has seen us, right? We're good. Wait for him to walk in the things. Oh, wait a minute. Wield your flipping knife wield your knife press k it's much easier to um draw a combat knife yes it's much easier to what am i saying here press the letter than you know accidentally don't press a direction enough times and then all of a sudden you're in super trouble so what i'm, I'm actually using the table here it has the same effect as the um ow has the same effect as the bush. You have to remember that if you're diagonally on to the enemy, you certainly want to be able to step away from it. You don't want to still be in its area of influence if it's about to attack you, because it will just continue to attack you and that will hurt. Okay, let's, um, we're in minimal pain. We can walk now and we can wait for a few heartbeats just to stop that horrendous bassy noise in my earphones, headphones. Maybe I should turn the bass down. <laughs> Where's the bass slider? Turn it down. There we go. Bought earphones with a battery in them. Good idea. Battery powers the noise in my ears, which is loud. Why? Just don't put the battery in and everyone's happy. But then you might say, well, but that's a good thing to have, you know, a extra bass in your ears. You know what? I don't believe you. I'm going to leave this tainted meat here. There's nothing we're going to do with it except for it's going to rot. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, 
I don't I think if if the if they wanted me to have more bass they would have put more bass in the music in the first place chunk of meat is standard meat that's good and I think we can keep tainted bones they're kind of useful well they can be anyways so it's getting dark again we don't know what time it is but we can tell here this is approximate idea of what the the sky's like so no moon I think and then this is like the tiniest little bit of daylight left is this blue bar, blue bar here and then now uh, it's night time so it's nearly night time with I think there's going to be no moon which will affect how much um we can see fairly obviously maybe to you but not necessarily to everybody so I don't know if this water's still frozen it's not it's cold which is nice so everything's actually unfreezing itself anyway um I don't think we need this but I can possibly start washing some clothes if I wanted to try and get them clean use them to fix my clothes who cares my clothes are fine right now we need to get these rotten things out of here ASAP but first we should drink some milk let's then move all of these oh, bird eggs are rotten that's rubbish we should eat the things that are in light blue here because they will go off these are red because they haven't read them yet not because they're going to go off that's fine so let's just take this outside we're going to get even more wet because it's still blinking raining and then put everything over here and we can cook this chunk of meat if we want some food but remember that, that chunk of meat is just going to be cooked meat which will then you know, start to perish again so you do want to think about what you've done young man etc let's see right, let's leave this here let go good girl um <clears throat> we want to have a look at food basically we want to see what food we can make change it we can't make any food that's because we don't have a fire nearby but we could cook this meat uh let's have a look at everywhere we can probably make something from knees we could just drink the milk pesto and these things these like go into stuff you can't just eat you can just eat pesto it does have some effect but you really want to cook it into something and i don't know if we're that good a chef right now so let's not peppermint patty is going to give us some good morale that's nice tortilla chips in an emergency tin can of ravioli will last forever we could spend some time reading but i would really 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 like to have more food so that if i do cho choose to spend some time reading it's not that big of a deal so we've obviously visited that house. We... Let's uh, let's go here and press E. If you press E here, if you have a look on the right, E toggles explored. Did that work? Or is it capital E? Yes, capital E. So now, did it make a difference? I can't tell if it makes a difference. I mean, it changes this. So that is an explored tile. I thought it would go more obviously explored, but never mind. Uh, Duplex house south from bar. Park. House. One thing we could really, really do with is a makeshift crowbar. A crowbar will give us the benefit that we can get into these houses without having to smash a window. And if we can find a house that we can live in without smashing a window, we're already like well, one step ahead of the house we've currently got, which is got a smashed win window. <laughs> um, let's just eat... So the tortilla chips last two seasons and the fish lasts four days, but it's pickled fish. That should last forever at least. Let's just eat it. We'll make us slightly thirsty, so that's going to last a little less time. But let's see what we need to make a crowbar. Crowbar. We need a pipe. A pipe is usually gathered by smashing something made of pipes, like e.g. a fridge, which I believe is to the... down here. Where there's a paper wrapper and a plastic let's leave that here. The plastic bottle might turn out to be useful actually. So I'm gonna drop the paper wrapper but leave the plastic bottle on me. Because I'm gonna to wanna to maybe carry oh, I've got a canteen actually. Nah, never mind. I don't want to worry about that because with the excuse me, canteen on our hip, we don't need to carry a plastic bottle full of water. We can just carry a canteen full of water, which is great. Speaking of which, it is a canteen of clean water. We probably should fill that up a little bit more. At some point, but for now we're okay. Um, so, pipe. What we can do is wield, I don't know, 
What's in here? Get items. We should remember the position of this vehicle, actually. I don't think I can disassemble the fridge with just pliers, although it would be nice to. Do I have something that is already good at bashing, like a rock or a hammer? Or the back of a weapon? I don't know. I'm just going to unwield my uh, combat knife and sheathe it. See if I can smash this without... Is it going to hurt me? No, I'm not going to damage it though, that's annoying. Uh, spoon. What is around me? I could probably break it with a frying pan. That would be worth trying. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, no, I want inventory. Put that back. Just pick it up. There we go. Wield this frying pan. <laughs> and then hit the fridge with the frying pan. <laughs> clang, 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 clang. It doesn't say I'm not damaging it, although it's taken a lot of my stamina. Come on. I'm going to uh, not start running. Uh, I press Z instead of the pipe. Just, just chill out a bit. I am beating up a refrigerator with a frying pan. It is not working. Okay, we tried. No one can say we didn't try. Okay. And that's the important thing. What else is near by us? What's in here? Um, <clears throat> I don't really know what I can use to break this. Didn't I have a rock? Because the thing is, when I try and do this, crowbar, it says I have a tool with hammering one or more. Where is it? Find it for me. Can I search here for Q hammering? The frying pan <laughs> actually has. It has level one hammering quality. <laughs> That's amazing. So you actually can use a frying pan to hammer things. Unfortunately, not this refrigerator, much as I would like it to. So, what do we break that can give us a pipe? It has to be a pipe as well. That's the annoying thing. Also, does this work? No. It makes a rapid clicking sound. Let's investigate it. Examine vehicle. It's a bit broken over here. The wheels are broken. It gives you a, a synopsis down here. It's a flatbed truck. It's dented. It has no wheels. So we can't drive it. Um, and we can't repair the security system. So never mind it. What do we do? We just go looking. Let's rewield our sheath with combat knife because... Well, just the combat knife, actually. But specifically, I want the one from my sheath. We don't want to run into trouble whilst looking for this pipe. What is this? It's a mailbox. Smash it. I'm making a lot of noise. It's probably a bad idea. I don't even know if it'll give us a pipe. Maybe we shouldn't do that. This door is locked. That tile to the left, to the right of me, is actually a... Um... Ooh, buzz buzz. It's not listening. Uh, it's actually a wall. We can open the door from the inside, you see, which is fine, but I had to break the window to do that. Also, I'm very scared. What is this? It's a fireplace. That's way better! A beauty magazine. Not way better, but a smartphone. A popular fancy smartphone capable of making photos due to integrating a camera and illuminating an area as per flashlight app, assuming it has enough charge. The smartphone also has a clock app that includes an alarm. Runs on small rechargeable power cell compatible with unified power supply. Turns into smartphone flashlight. Is not com see. I picked it up. But it has a charge. Um, your, you can find a smartphone or just a, a cell phone that doesn't have charge. It just always works, which means it will tell you what the time is. This phone is telling us the time, but I do not know how long it will take to run out of charge. It's possible that it only runs out of charge if you try to use it as a flashlight, in which case, great, we always know what the time is. It's now 20 to 9 in day two of spring, which is some basically winter still but it will start getting warmer uh, let's reset this filter we've got a jean jacket which is cool no one can ever say that jean jackets are not cool 
Uh, but I don't want it because I'm much better equipped. We found a lighter! <laughs> in the next house over, which was surrounded by zombies in the last episode when we were desperately trying to make a fire drill. Pants fit. It's nice to know that it was fitting clothes here. Um, there was a lighter that would have solved all our woes instantly. Just, It's just the troll engine. It's come over from Isaac. Let's close this. Careful not to smash things that you don't want to smash. Uh, smashing a window at that point would have been bad news bears. There's a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of clean clothes here, which may turn out to be really good for us because we do want to be able to repair our current clothes and the only way of doing that is to get rags that are not filthy. This is actually, um, when it says duplex, it actually means it's two houses in one. Not what I usually mean by duplex, which is an upstairs and a downstairs. Right? It's not just me. Um, I'm kind of hoping there's no bad dudes trying to gank me around this corner, but again, okay, we're going to have to smash a window to get in because we haven't got a crowbar and we need a pipe to make a crowbar. We could just find a crowbar. It doesn't have to be a makeshift one. Might as well take US Weekly. I'm pretty sure some people find it entertaining, and if anybody's going to find it entertaining, it's going to be a military recruit. Military recruit. <laughs> military uh, Kark, what am I wearing right now? Uh, combat boots, army, army winter pants. So there, these combat pants might be useful as the weather gets warmer. Actually, Can we take it. Can we take it? Yes. We're running out of inventory space. Once we've cleared out a place, of course, we can drag our. Are these okay? Um, we can drag our our our, our trolley. I'll fill it with all the. Ooh, a teapot. Mm -hmm. Can't pick it up. Mm -hmm. To loot the place properly, but for now, just pick up things that might seem important. I don't know. They don't seem important right now, to be honest. I don't need these things. I need. They've got a fireplace too. Wowee. I need pipes or just straight up a crowbar. Anywhere with a garage would be great. This... Who lives in a place like this? Who lives here, man? Who lives in a house like this? Yeah, but who? Uh, we're going on this old nighttime raid job again. I quite enjoy it. We can still see quite well. I suspect that's because maybe the moon's out. Yeah, this tells us what the moon looks like. So I'm guessing that since that's half bright, we can see well enough simply by its light. Another thing we would like to find before too long is a working vehicle. What have I found? Park. You're all right. I'll pass. Ooh, this is already smashed. Brilliant. That means we don't have to do it. Which means... Have I already been here? Maybe. Oh, that's the point. Let's mark this one as... I want to say it's explored. Let's just do it. Um, did you hear that? It is a crawling zombie. you got nothing on me, bro. Bring it on. Bring it on. Nice and slow. I'm waiting, in case you're wondering, I'm actually waiting for it to take another move. I'm not quite sure how many moves they get, but I don't want to be still standing there smacking it. Uh, not smash. Stop this. Examine this. Screwdriver. That's actually a really good start. Um, let's, um, let's press this button. Ah, you can, now we have a, a timekeeping device, we can tell how long we're going to wait. So we're going to wait for five minutes. Why am I so happy? Enjoyed pickled fish. <coughs> Very much so. It's been a while since we had that hot meal, but we still enjoyed it. Um, okay, let's go out again. Real quick. What? Campfire drill. Why? Why you pick this up? Okay. I don't know why you dropped that, but let's just take it home. One thing we might want to do is just go around with our everything. So let's grab this vehicle, drop everything into it that we don't want to carry. I accidentally pressed some buttons, which is why I've dropped this camp. I understand. I don't need to put those in there or that. I'm carrying stuff I don't need to carry. Um, we'll put the cash card in there, the lighter. These are things that we're going to be bringing with us, right? So we might as well keep things that we're likely to need on the road. 
in the trolley and then not things that we want to leave behind so let's just start dumping stuff here and there so let's make a little pile here for just weapons I guess that can go in there let's make a little pile on here for clothing but not filthy clothing thank you very much thank you very much and we might as well use the bookshelf which we already have for our books we don't need these batteries oh, the <laughs> shopping cart was running into the thing that I was climbing over and it was saying you can't do that it's not wrong I'm not going to put the battery in the bin although I really really want to these things can stay here I might need this <coughs> excuse me the Swiss army knife not sure and we might as well well let's just put where are we putting stuff food is east and north oh yeah there's going to be a apparently there's a piece of meat <laughs> in my trolley of course there is so let's put everything in here and get this out of here dragged vehicle into the east which is going to be this might as well put the bone in there and the glass shard paper wrapper we can also get out of there so let's do that um, the trash can get out of there move those all of them and that it's nice to carry the first aid kit with us might as well so these are the things we're taking around with us probably don't need the long string that can go with the clothing for now um there you are you know what, let's bring that back no might as well have a little pile of just stuff bits and bobs bric-a-brac this is going to be our little haberdashery over here so to the north we'll put the sewing kit yeah the string the nail the two by four it's a haberdashery that also doubles as a hardware store we could get this out of the doorway there we go not that it matters that there's a closed door I don't like the sound of that so I'm just going to keep going this way that's a zombie trying to get out of a car I think I'm trying to get around a car I'm just going to ignore it um, we do, we're not we don't need to worry about it right now another thing we can do is just pick up all this stuff so we've got a vehicle now let's do all yeah these sheets are going to be great there's so many reasons that we need a sheet many of them are repairing clothing uh, what did we have a screwdriver that's what we wanted here the tainted meat I'm just going to leave I'm worried that we're going to end up with cockroaches but we'll see you can't I'm not dragging it anymore go down the stairs right this is scary because there could be anything in here so let's uh, a quick peek nothing so far activate our I haven't got any batteries <laughs> I don't have any batteries I didn't put any batteries in my it must have unloaded my torch when I made the headlamp that would make sense uh, and then obviously the, the it's just now there where did I put my already forgot my own organization system uh, now we can reload our headlamp there we go now we can go back no don't step into the window frame you burp get out of there if we follow this back we can see the trolleys have got stop having a weird line of trolleys all over our thingy right let's try this again activate oh that is a tough zombie it's just one of these marijuana dens again activate oh turn that off close that get up here hopefully that zombie will have forgotten how to get to where we were won't have understood why the door has suddenly closed on it hopefully let's pick up everything we can seasoned salt detergent that might be good for us let's have a teapot why not then we can have a tea party when the zombies come to play sure save every five blinking seconds I'm not trying to do a recording here or anything a wool poncho sure let's I'm going to just kind of keep picking things up don't necessarily know what they do so therefore whether I want them but I'm picking them up money bundle not much use I'll take the blankets though I'm gonna to have to leave my shopping cart here unfortunately because I don't think I can grab this bed you cannot grab the bed of course I can grab a bed you try grabbing beds it's easy just pull. Just pull. Small plastic bottle of cough syrup. That's going to be good if, like, you end up with a, um, <clears throat> a smoker zombie or something and it starts making you cough. The coughing caused by a smoker zombie can attract further zombies because it's noisy. 
What's a transistor? That's going to be useful because that will teach us about electronics, which is something we want to know for it for too long because uh, D is for drag to vehicle inventory. <clears throat> I don't want these. Why have I got filthy sneakers? Leave them behind. Drop filthy sneakers. Right, we haven't found anything good yet. <laughs> still going. We are also still doing fairly reasonably well, which I think is only to our credit so far because other people have... Oh, crikey. Let's just not be here. What the heck did this used to be? Unseen. Uh, I don't like this. Zombie cop. Here's a trick. This is uh, bad for your... Um, bad for your cart, but if you're lucky and you wield your blinking combat knife, stop unwielding this thing, yes, then the zombie cop will climb over your shopping cart, which will count as an obstacle when it comes to stabbing it, much like everything else. Although it seems to have gone away. Where are you? I can hear you. No, it won't. But, of course, it will eventually break it. Which it seems to be what it's doing. So <laughs> let's just leave leave this scenario for somebody else to deal with. This is just going to be future me, but future me is in another country, so that's okay. Uh, yes, not happy with this. Well, I didn't make too much progress in this episode, but thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're learning. I hope you're eager and on tenter hooks to see whether this unnamed human, Simon Thorizen Holt Thorizen? Thorizen? That's not a name. Uh, he's going to survive this cataclysm any longer than the day and a half that he's managed, but thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you.